Hello everyone. So today we'll talk about using neuroscience to manage your time. In the face of pressure, our instinct is to study or work as long as we can for as long as we can. So why do we feel as if we have not accomplished enough at the end of the day? Neuroscientist and professor at the Manhattan Neuro Leadership Institute, Josh Davis, suggested that rather than focusing on what is the urgent, people should decide what matters most and pinpoint the best time to do it. It's really about being highly effective as, as far as is reasonable for a human being. Davis says, says he believes that rather than making a to-do list, and working through each item, people should decide on the main aim for the day and work out when they are most likely to achieve peak productivity. Then, this time can be devoted to the task with the highest prior priority, such as writing an essay or revising. It is obviously impossible to work intensively at the time, so. Simple tasks not requiring much attention, attention, like email or paperwork, can be done in any downtime. However, there are times when the the extent extent to which small tasks can take our brains is under underestimated. Sending an email, for example, may appear simple on the surface surface, but can evoke a decision which. Although trivial, can cause mental exhaustion. In this case, it is better to reorder the day and deal with less pressing concerns over after the work target has been achieved. The time of day when people are most alert varies from person to person, but as a general rule, the first two hours after waking up are not conducive to serious study. Researchers measure attention. Verbal reasoning and rea reaction times has sh also shown that when our body temperature below, falls below uh, 37 degrees C, the brain is not at its full potential, so the worst time to do anything about thinking is between midnight and 6 a.m. This is almost as bad as the, the afternoon slump between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m., which is more to do with feeling cold than a heavy hunch. Lunch. Rather than being afraid of getting distracted, just be careful how you do it. These days, when people decide to take a break and tend, they tend to go on social media, say David, and then they spend too much time there. Instead, they should go back to daydreaming, where it is possible to stop thinking about work without really focusing on anything else. This allows for creative thinking and the integration between different parts of the brain, which cannot occur when the mind is required to focus on something specific. Neuroscience has revealed much about our mind-body connection and how exercise can be used as a tool. There's different way of uh, seeing exercise. See Davis, says Davis. Usually, we think about how, in the long term, it will make us healthy and look better, but this focus on the short term, a short session, 20 minutes or so of moderate exercise should be, will be uh, sufficient. It does not need to be a lengthy gym vis visit. Just running up and downstairs or jogging on the spot can be uh, an effective method of lessening tension and boosting positive emotions. Food that keeps um, foods that keep blood uh, sugar levels stable will also help people to work more effectively, says Davis. If people snack the day, they should choose food that contain fats such as nuts and cheese rather than car carbohydrates to avoid blood sugar spikes. Starting the day with high protein uh, foods such as eggs and toast will have a high impact on the neurotransmitters in the brain. The amino acid tyrosine, which is found in proteins, will stimulate the transmitters to possible for learners and the, calm, the calming protein to toughen will relax the brain. On the meal breaks, 
people should eat only about eighty、uh, percent capacity. People's bad work will be done when they are slightly hungry, but not starving. Keep hydrated and improve your mood by sipping water. Just remember not to overdo caffeine. It may improve your alertness, but also minimize minimize concentration. Ensure you have a well-lit spa- study space and that you your desk clear, space is clear. Clutter is a distraction and not a good one, as it reminds you of、uh, uncompleting work. A clear desk also gives you room for、uh, increased movement, whether sitting with your arms behind your head or your feet up. You should alert.、Uh, Alternate between standing and sitting. So finally, to try to get eight hours,、um, try to get eight hours sleep a day. While we sleep, our brains process and retain information, consolidating facts and reinforcing how to perform tasks. It is also rejuvenate、uh, us both physically and mentally. So thank for listening.